Wolf. There was a lunar eclipse in Cancer tonight. Perhaps this is the start of my latest in my new breed of very bad poems. Rangy, leggy. Is this the night of the apocalypse, David's blue light over there? I don't want any language to escape me, the tower against the sky and a better guy than me walking his dog. The guy is a woman, a tree sways, my truck makes a funny twirling sound. Turn the corner, who am I? At that big blaring moon. The one that stays in, the one that reads stop sign, one red light, two whites, two more reds, dots really, and the mountains are here, dark over there, invisible. My dog, Swanye, in bed. I ask her, please, for a little more time. The heat here falling like a kitten. In a period that's novelesque, it just holds all of this living. Are you writing a book or are you just in your house? The wind laughing out there. Even a barcode, say, resembles the sea in the sky, Pat de Groot's bobbing vision. I wish I bought you when. Mirrors stretch the light a little bit longer, even multiply light bulbs, a lid rolls, a reflection of power. A night of tiny things, homey moons. Will Masha tell how they did it, the two boys who blew up Boston, looking for greatness, but it's just a spray of salt, a lime in time. The surface of a table covered with book, open, open ladling their knowledge to a non-reading pile of things. Other books compared, receipts, I don't know why electricity reminds me of my mother before the world was language, and it only was attached to her. And the room, and the room wasn't everything was, so she owns the tingle now of language past. Maybe now when I stay in to be alone with my mother till the time of my death, the new dark superstar, when she's gone and the world's full of holes, and then you're living in a hole, and this is it. And I tell my love, I just want to live in my hole. And it's not even language now. I love the train, her wide whine. The whole damn world is her sign. My mother, oh, my lover, she said, there's not enough of me, but I'm sitting here to listen, warm to be in from the cold. Crack, says the heat. Man, do you hear that? I was saying that I felt nothing, and now I always want to tell her of my world. You become in your life her recording device, her ears and nose, her recording clock. I couldn't tell her a thing. The insult was so great. She had left this thing that was mine, a suit of clothes, a brain, only good for recognizing the unfathomable sound of the earth being pounded and producing wind. I learned once I could call you tonight because I love you. I think I will do that. She left me here to call you to love others.